the farmers have demonstrated compliance with the international standards on phytosanitary measures that uh, spells out properly how a pest free areas of production is established. And uh, KEFIS is leading the team in terms of establishing pest free area of production, but it's the farmers and every other stakeholders to put their input to ensure that uh, we manage the fruit fry. Fruit fry is a very tricky pest. Even if you control it in your farm and your neighbor doesn't, the fries will still fry into your farm. So it has to be controlled in such a way that everybody in an area manages that fruit fry. And it's not just spraying or trapping the pest at your farm, but also making sure that uh, all the mangoes, including the ones that are not being eaten, the ones that are thrown into the markets, all of them are managed in such a way that they don't become a breeding ground for the fruit fry. Uh, to establish a uh, pest-free area, it uh, is demonstrated by when you put those traps, not even a single fruit fry gets into the trap. So when we get into that level where the trap doesn't capture anything, is when now we can lie to our trading partners and tell them that we have established a pest-free area of production and we have to keep on monitoring that the status remains that way. And then we tell them now we can, we have a pest-free area of production, we are ready to export. In most cases, they evaluate our reports and then they may even send inspectors to come and confirm that. And then once they are satisfied, then we can access the market again. Time frame you can't tell because you can see very many stakeholders are involved and especially the farmers. So the first thing we are doing right now with the farmers is getting them, as the governor mentioned, to make it a way of life, a kasha. Yeah? It's a kasha of agriculture, good agricultural practices. So when they get there, then we'll be able to achieve because we can't achieve unless the farmer has achieved. And to be able to change the farmer's culture, you know, changing a culture is not a one-day event. That's why we are having this campaign for the next two years, hoping that by the end of the two years, we will have reached the goal. With climate change, what is happening is that the weather is becoming so conducive for the multiplication of pests, yeah? So we also have to be very alert of this and manage the pests. Because if we are not a lot and we think business is as usual, maybe some pests were never serious, but now they are becoming serious, we may fail to put up management practices for certain pests. And pests reduce the quality of products, they reduce the, the productivity, they also can cause loss of markets. So it's very important that as a country, we be, a lot, we be conscious of this and make sure that we put mitigation measures. One of the positive things that happened from the, the factory, the food factory, the mango factory that we established was uh, the county has a minimum price which is 18 shillings uh, per kilogram and uh, currently we are observing that most of the private sector operators are offering better. Uh, so uh, in a way uh, the establishment of the food uh, uh, factory uh, began to stabilize uh, prices and uh, indeed this campaign of uh, the uh, uh, fruit fly uh, free zones uh, this is going to be one of the most important uh, initiatives to ensure that we have good product uh, we have good uh, produce and as a result even in the local market in the international market wherever we are going to fetch uh, uh, good prices but having said that uh, we are engaging the Association of Manco uh, 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 buyers uh, so that we can talk about ethical issues of uh, you know, fair uh, trading uh, so that uh, they don't exploit uh, farmers uh, because that is important. We uh, accept that the private sector must make its profit but also the farmer uh, must make their profit so that we have a win-win uh, situation. But the point that I made, that the fact of uh, uh, this campaign is to make sure that mangoes are good for everybody, including at the local level. Even sensitization 
so that our farmers, uh, also their families, they eat proper mangoes. So in our situation, uh, we, the cooperatives and the other actors who buy the mangoes, they will be very diligent, they are normally very diligent in terms of making sure that they don't have a diseased uh, mangoes, uh, so to speak. And if by any accident there are some steel uh, which come to the factory, again, when we are selecting now the final mangoes for production, those are eliminated uh, because uh, the puree and ultimately the juice that we are also going to produce through e, uh, EU assistance. Uh, many people are beginning fresh farms for mangoes because they realize that it is a very pro profitable activity. We say that it's between 40 and 80 percent of loss, particularly those mangoes that are for export. In terms of value, we said it was 2.4 billion uh, shillings, uh, particularly when uh, we don't have interventions locally to ameliorate uh, that kind of loss. Our development partners will be happy to know that we have put in place other measures to mitigate against the free, the fruit, fr the fruit fly. This includes certification of mango farms and produce capacity building of stakeholders in the mango value chain, development of man modern mango collection centers in every ward. Establishment of at least one modern pack house fitted with the hot water treatment equipment and creation of a modern open air market facility for local marketing of mangoes and other fresh produce.